Hey, what's up everybody? Lemonheads and others alike. So I'm doing this video because I'm calling for some action to be taking, taken. You know that I have a vested interest in the Watts murder case um, with the, the one year anniversary coming in, what, four days? I believe that we need to be speaking about the truth and about the facts of the case and we need to be talking about Shanann's legacy and the girls, the, the precious memories that they created in this short amount of time that they were given on this earth and how amazing of a mom Shanann was and of a wife that she was. And we need to stop the victim bashing and we need to stop the conspiracies, the channels that will not stop with the conspiracies. It's ridiculous. And just as much as I am a strong supporter with peace for the Rusex, like for life, and I am here to help that. I'm I'm here to help bring peace to the Rusex, this family that for almost a year now has had to deal with horrendous things that hopefully no, not many people will ever have to deal with. But you have these creators that have no respect for that, that see dollar signs. They don't see the lives that were lost, you know, and the lives that are still here having to deal with the aftermath of this horrendous crime committed by one man, Chris Watts. Chris Watts is rotting. Well, not really rotting because he has, you know, his little minister coming in. But he's there in prison and he will be for the rest of his life. And quite frankly, I hope that, you know, prison justice is done on him. You know what I mean? And, but anyways, enough on that. But guys, look, NK, Nikki Kessinger, the other woman, she's a human being, okay? She did not commit any murders, okay? Mary Marlowe, okay, armchair detective, people like that, but especially Marley, Mar, Mary Marlowe, she is defaming NK. She is creating a fic fiction narrative about what occurred. She has no facts, she has no evidence, and all she has is a scorned woman's soul, okay? NK is innocent. She did nothing. She did nothing but sleep with a married man. She is guilty of that, okay? She is guilty of sleeping with a married man. And as a, well, almost divorced, but a married woman, the thought of, of some, you know, whore, some girl, some homewrecker coming in and sleeping with my husband or whatever makes me infuriated. But at the same time, she was being led on and lied to, just like everyone else, by Chris Watts. Chris Watts is a pathological psychopath. It's a pathological liar and, his, and a, a psychopath. You guys, news shell, like news bomb, like news flash, like Chris Watts is a liar and he has lied his whole life, okay? He lied to his family. He lied to Shanann. He lied to his friends. He lied to NK. Chris Watts lied to NK. She, she didn't, I mean, she went along with what he was saying, okay? Even in the first email exchanges they had, she said to him, I, thank you for being honest with me. I, like, trustworthiness, honesty means a lot to me, and it's hard to come by these days. And he said in a follow-up email, oh, I'm a straightforward guy. You get nothing but the truth from me. Another lie. He's a liar. He is evil. He is a monster. NK, yeah, she was an adulterer. She slept with a married man, okay? She wasn't head over heels in love with him. She was not obsessed with him. He was obsessed with her. He doesn't, Chris doesn't know what love is, but he knows what obsession is. He was obsessed with her and he did anything. So Mary Marlowe, I'm gonna speak specifically to you. 
you don't have the right to, number one, after Frank, excuse me, after Frank Rusek went on a news, live news conference and stated specifically that Chris Watts murdered Shanann and his grandchildren. And he also stated that he wants, if, if, if you talk about the case, stick to the truth. It's hard enough, this is quoted by him, it's hard enough having to deal with what they have had to deal with and then to have to listen to conspiracies and lies and you're spreading these horrific conspiracies. You have no right to do that. You have no evidence and you have no basis to do it. So stop. Because quite frankly, you are defaming NK. You are creating a lynch mob after somebody. Thousands of people are watching and listening to you and you're creating a lynch mob based on your own delusions about Nikki Kessinger saying she's the murderer and four other people. We need to get justice. Pitchfork, pitchfork, lynch mob. Do you understand what you're doing? Do you understand that, like you said, innocent until proven guilty? There, is, This is a closed case and you're creating a lynch mob after a woman that's innocent. You're creating a situation where you some some person that's off their, even more off their rocker than you is going to be like, hmm, if they ever come across her, they're going to fucking kill her or do worse or do anything. You don't have the right. And you know what, Nikki Kessinger, like, I don't agree with how you treat, you know, did things, but I am proud that you went to the police, spoke the truth. And you know what? You need to you lawyer up and you need to go after channels like Mary Marlowe and you need to sue them because they don't understand anything but that because what she is doing to you is defaming you okay she is saying lies and she is disparaging any reputation that you have she's impeding on your freedoms and she is creating a horrific and hostile environment for you so Talk to me. So stop the lynch mob after NK, okay? She did her due diligence. She gave all the information she could to the police and the CBI. And yeah, she's guilty of adultery, but the lynch mob after her needs to stop. And NK, feel free to contact me. But other than that, she doesn't owe anything else to anybody. And she didn't kill anybody. Chris Watts killed his family and he's in prison. The case is closed.